Hi guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com and today I'm going to show you how you could take the clouds from one picture and put them in another picture. It's pretty easy. Um, what we'll do first is we'll work on the picture that doesn't have the clouds. and We're going to copy our background by hitting Command J. If you have a PC, it hit Control J. And we're just doing that to preserve the uh, background copy just in case we make a mistake. We could toss all the layers above the background copy out and start over. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a U saturation layer um, because I want to get rid of this blue in the blue sky. It makes, when I put the clouds on top of it, you'll see it'll, it'll uh, blend better. Uh, all we've got to do is um, change the master to blues because we're getting rid of the blue and click on this first eyedropper tool and just sample somewhere in the blue sky. Now take the lightness and do it all the way light and put the saturation all the way down. Now you could see what happened was it took all the blue out of the sky but it also took the blue out of the pond. But it comes with a layer mask so to you know get the blue in the pond back all we have to do is paint on the mask so make sure you click on the mask um, in black. And uh, I'm going to use a big brush uh, hardness um, all the way up and I'm simply going to paint on the mask and what that does is it returns the layer below it uh, allows it to show through which brings back our blue in the pond. Alright now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just merge these two layers so you could right click right here and we're gonna merge the visible so those uh, two layers that I had visible are now merged into one layer. Now go over to the photograph that has the clouds what we're going to do here is we're going to select the sky. So we um, take our selection tool and we just do a selection of the sky. That's the quick selection tool. Now we're not going to worry about um, refining the edge or anything like that because we really don't have to. Um, and then we click the move tool and we're just going to take that selection and bring it up to the tab of the picture we want to put it in and then pull it down and drop it right on the picture. Now we could straighten it out. I'm going to move it up a little so it's about there. Now um, what I want to do is move the U, um, or I should say the what was the background layer, above the clouds. And all you got to do is change the blending mode to darken. And there it is the clouds are now um, in the new picture. And that's it. If you have any questions, uh, stop by anthonymorganti.com and drop me a line. I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thanks.